Welcome to another flute review where we're going to be taking a closer look at one of the flutes from my collection. Today we are looking at a flute made by Tim Blue Flint. He's out of California and he goes by Shades of Res. Um, he He's been making flutes for a while. I bought this one used. I didn't get this directly from him. This was made back in the year 2014, key of G. And this is what he called Silky Eucalyptus. And it has accents of uh, Paduk. Ring here, I think is Paduk. The, the darker woods there are Paduk. Um, no other adornment on here. Beautiful craftsmanship. Um, I would personally have called this like a, a flamed eucalyptus, because that's the, the style that I'm used to calling that, that type of figuring in the wood. It's just beautiful, beautiful wood. Never had, up until this, a flute made of eucalyptus. I grew up in Southern California, and they used to plant eucalyptus uh, along the edges of orange groves as a windbreak. And so I was very accustomed to seeing eucalyptus trees as I grew up. So this flute, um, I'm not sure what, it looks like the mouthpiece is the same wood as the flute body. It looks like they added a ring here, you know, separated the mouthpiece from the regular uh, flute body wood there. And a beautiful sculpted nest built into here that is the, uh, the surround with the block kind of inset into there. I'll, I'll include some pictures. So there, here's the voice. try something. Tim Blue Flint is known for his warbling flutes. This one is kind of sensitive. Let me see if I can get it to warble. Got to warble. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. If a flute is set up to warble, a lot of times it requires moving the fetish block forward just a little tiny bit past the back wall of the shoe sound hole to get it to warble. So this flute has a one inch bore, pretty big bore. Um, it has, it looks like a, almost a three eighths inch breath hole nipple style mouthpiece. It is a um, one piece construction. So it's a board flute. Um, I'm guessing, I can't really tell by looking. Um, I'm guessing that he bores through and then adds a wall would be my guess on this and then probably adds the mouthpiece after he does the boring. So regular six hole flute, a little bit shorter than some. It doesn't have any tuning holes. 
uh, or direction holes, things like that. Beautiful sound. It's got a little bit of a, um, a little growl to the voice, I would call it. takes a little bit to get past that octave, which is kind of common in flutes that are designed to try to have a warble. Um, it'll do it. It's very controllable. Um, it does take a, a pretty fair amount of breath pressure to get into that uh, octave note from the fundamental. So let me know what you thought of the Shades of Res Flute by Tim Bluflint. What do you think of that voice? And what do you think of a warbling flute? Any interest in those? Do you have one in your collection? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.